Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to see you again today. I have uh, two brief notes for you, and then we will be done. Stéphane Dujaric will be here afterwards, and he has a guest for the noon briefing. The President of the General Assembly will convene the last meeting on women's empowerment for the current session of 12, on 12 September. Ms. Maria Fernanda Espinosa has invited the group of women leaders, which is led by the former Prime Minister of New Zealand, Ms. Helen Clark, to participate in the event. This group also includes the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Bulgaria, Ms. Irina Bokova, and the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Argentina, Ms. Susana Malcorra. The meeting, Women in Power, Call to Action and Women Leaders, Voices for Change and Inclusion, will take place from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the ECOSOC Chamber. The event will focus on creating synergies with networks that encourage participation of women, considering measures to create an environment where gender equality is respected and inclusion is part of the organization culture and promoting the mentoring of young women to strengthen their capacity to participate in politics. This will be the third Women in Power meeting organized by the current session by the PGA in the General Assembly. During the first one in March, Ms. Espinosa launched together with 22nd leaders, including female heads of state and government, the call to action for equality and women's empowerment. More information on our website, which is un.org slash pga slash 73. And the president of the General Assembly will travel this afternoon to Salt Lake City to attend the 68th Civil Society Conference. Ms. Maria Fernanda Espinosa will be a keynote speaker at the opening and the closing of the event, which will take place from 26 to 28 August. The UN Civil Society Conference is focusing on climate change, peaceful societies, opportunity for youth partnership with civil society, and its role to implement the Sustainable Development Goals, especially SDG 11, as we saw yesterday. Tomorrow, Ms. Espinosa will address an audience of young people to discuss climate change and how youth can take action to implement the Sustainable Development Goals. Ms. Espinosa said that the current generation of 1.8 billion people is the largest young generation in history, and also the best educated one. The PJ will hold separate bilateral meetings with the mayor of Salt Lake City and the state legislators. She will also take part in a press conference and grant other media interviews. She will meet the Utah Valley University president before heading back to New York on 29 August afternoon. This is all from us. Do you have anything else? Mr. Abadi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Monica, uh, you mentioned the gathering of the world uh, uh, women leaders. How, how was the selection of these women? On what basis? Mm -hmm. um, this, is a, this, is, this is the last uh, uh, event that uh, Mrs. Spinoza uh, is organizing. And uh, it is um, a cooperation of uh, the group that Ms. Spinoza put together with the cooperation, the help of uh, the partnership, I would say, of uh, international women leaders, as we saw here in March when they uh, gather. Uh, is, this is a, a, a not a complicated, but a, I would say a, a job that requires lots of persistence because, as we know, um, only 10 percent of uh, the heads of state and government are women. So Mrs. Spinoza worked very dil diligently with uh, this head of state and government uh, who uh, supported fully uh, this initiative. So this time is the last uh, meeting for the current session and she's working with uh, the group of uh, uh, female leaders, uh, which was uh, led, uh, which is led, but was uh, created uh, by several uh, international uh, names like, uh, as we said, 
Miss Helen Clark, but also Miss Susanna Malcorra and Miss Irina Bukova, among others. So Miss Espinosa, once she uh, learned about uh, this uh, initiative, she uh, wrote a letter to the to the group. Uh, commending their work, the initiative, congratulating them and inviting them for this uh, uh, cooperation. So the two groups will uh, gather here in New York and uh, she's looking forward to continuing working with them because as we saw uh, and as we said yesterday, gender equality unfortunately is not a reality now and uh, we need to keep working uh, towards uh, achieving this goal. Yes, Hamid, how are you? Thank you, how mm -hmm. are you? Well, uh, the term of Mrs. Spinoza is coming to an end, and uh, uh, when she started uh, her presidency, she put seven priorities for herself. Mm -hmm. Looking back at the last year, where do you think she achieved more, and where do you think that she had, uh, there was shortcoming of her uh, uh, expressed goals? Thank you. Hamid, I think you ask an excellent question for our last press conference where the PJ will be here uh, on 16th September at 11 a.m. and she will have the, the chance to uh, talk to her uh, and uh, listen from her uh, directly. Uh, what I can say is that uh, this presidency has been very dedicated to all seven priorities. Um, this uh, team, if you want, has been working around the clock uh, to make uh, uh, the priorities uh, and the agenda that the PGA set uh, uh, towards her, her presidency, the beginning of her presidency, a, a reality. Uh, of course, it's a working in progress. We know that. Um, she uh, herself uh, has uh, said before, uh, we have uh, one priority for each day of the week. And uh, what I can say is that uh, there is no uh, a difference or no uh, positioning uh, among the priorities. They are equally important. Uh, they are important uh, not only for the current session, but they are important for uh, the work of humanity, as she calls uh, the General Assembly, the Parliament of Humanity. And we will continue to work diligently uh, until the very last uh, minute. I said before uh, that uh, the press conference will be held on her last day at the office. She made a point to spend one hour with you, answering your questions directly, but also uh, listening to some feedback. She's very open to that. Masood, and then we have to hand yeah. over to Thank Stefan. You. Yes, go ahead. Monica, mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me, did this uh, PGA make a statement on Kashmir today, and which was broadcast all over Pakistani media? No, so did she, she say something, or did she speak to somebody about uh, Kashmir? Yeah, no, she um, hasn't made any statement on Kashmir today. Uh, what you probably has uh, have seen, uh, as um, probably uh, we have seen as well, is the meeting that she had yesterday with the permanent representative of uh, of Pakistan. So and yesterday, we are she, yesterday, yes, oh, she she uh, went to see the PGA, and uh, we uh, we will have more on this uh, later. Okay. Dr. Badi, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. That uh, the president will meet in uh, Salt Lake City with several prominent leaders. Does that include indigenous people leaders? Yes, there is. Um, the, the program will be um, making it available to you soon. Uh, she will be, uh, in fact, uh, meeting um, a young caucus uh, where I understand uh, uh, there are uh, invitations to uh, several participants. And we will bring more uh, uh, to you on this uh, probably tomorrow, OK, when she arrived. So thank you very much. Good to see you. And I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Steph, thanks.